Previously on The Adventures of the Euro Trucker. Oh, here's another guy. You know what? Oh, this is gonna be a problem. I am gonna do. Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Did you see that? How am I gonna fix this problem? Oh my god! All right, back on the road, we got gas. Whew, we have calmed down a bit after that crazy experience. Um, I know you guys should rewind that video because you ain't gonna see much like that going on very often. And I told you about this truck, it's amazing. You saw it survive, that long wheelbase. It hung in there even though I bounced off of some kind of island in that little <laughs> in that little rest area went right across <laughs> into a gas station. That is just dumb, dumb luck. That could have gone horrible in so many ways. I could have ended lives, including my own, most likely my own, carrying flammable gas on my back. Man, I hope there's no cameras on the highway. They would have revoked my license. Somebody's going to be replaying that and going, what the fuck just happened? And I'm sure everybody involved, their lives pass before their eyes. Whew. Being a truck driver is a big responsibility. See that? How many lives are in my hands? I'm basically a giant bomb driving down the road. Oh, that was pretty good. And I came up on that thing kind of quick. Well, I did say I was going to drive as fast as humanly possible. And you saw where that got me. They were still good. I don't think I took any damage. Once this fool gets out of my way, I'll quickly check. Uh, I think it's like F7 or something. Let's see. 4% damage. I think I had that. Whoops. God dang. Sorry about that. I think I've had that damage before. It's just tire damage. Tire wear and tear. Not a big deal. Right, Hamburg on Zabruck. This is the northern part of Germany for the most part. Um, well, and I'll be happy to see whatever road. Now, this is a big problem with this game. I don't think Euro highways have these constant one lane exits where the right lane just cuts into an exit. That, that, that's why I always drive in the left lane. Sometimes when you're going fast, you don't want to get involved in having to constantly move over. Here's an overhead camera. Hello, 80, 81, oh, oh, there's some leeway there, okay. I didn't want to test that there, but I thought I'd let it go for science. Oh, cutting this guy off, I'm glad he backed off, he sees explosive materials behind me. He didn't want, did not want any part of that. And I wonder if he was a witness to my shenanigans earlier, then he definitely doesn't want any part of me. But Okay, here we are. I think this is that little cutout to Ansebrook. You have to go local for a bit and then you find the highway again. Making a left here. Oh, a lot of traffic. Somebody gotta let me go. Busy times in Russia. Oh, this guy's going straight. Oh, Mr. Man. It's those empty tourist vans. You know, they're tricking me. They, they kind of hitch towards the uh, highway entrance there. Do you see that? And then they keep going straight. Tricky, tricky fools. <laughs> that guy's carrying a few people who happen to appear when the bus goes by. Alright. Nice countryside. I like this road. See another road up there coming from Ansebrook. Okay, that's the town. And that's their little farm, organic E Acres Farm, where the best produce is found in all of Germany and in the entire ETS world. Okay, some tight turns here. Let's not go too crazy. So that was... Yeah, I can feel it. I think I was on half a half a tire right there. It's okay. Still going almost 90 kph. I'm going to come up on some slower traffic. I love these retaining walls they did. They're really cool. They have a nice cool look. Alright. Oh man, we're in the clear. Should I do it? Should I do it? Oh, oh my god, oh, okay, we're screwed.
no we're not, no we're not, no we're not. Oh my god. Sorry, buddy. Wow. That guy's pissed. If I was that guy, I would be pissed. Holy shit, I missed him by about two inches back there. Good thing the AI, I think they slow down these days a little bit. Oof, it's been an exciting drive. It's kind of fun. Alright, let's, let's chill out again. Look at this beautiful countryside. Switch to an outside view. Oh, look at that. That is pretty. We've got some sunflower farms. We've got some bales of hay rolled up. We've got this dirty ass tank. Look at that thing. Rust it up. And whose job is it to check this thing? They got me carrying this. Look at this thing. It's got like algae growing out of it. It's terrible. It's dangerous. Now we're climbing a hill. Look at that. Beautiful. What a nice stretch of road. And I'm the terror of it. Okay. I'm not going to pass these guys. Uh, if you look at the GPS, we are coming up on another highway. The entrance I need. We've got a field of goldenrod to the right. Maybe I should pass this for you. These bends. Old diesel bends. Wow. He's putting me to sleep, but that highway is coming up pretty soon, so we'll go up. You think he minds that I'm driving right behind him? Let's flash him. Yo. Move, sucker, move, whoop, whoop. Yeah, probably not making him happy right now. He's probably, oh man, he's turning. Yeah, slow up, slow up. I'm kind of glad he signals, because I would have plowed into him. <laughs> man, I'm dangerous. Oh, this guy's just sitting here. Why? Oh, those guys. Come on, we have the right of way. Let us go. FCP. See, he, he's got kind of a liquid carrying tank, too, but look how clean his thing is. What the hell is my tank of dangerous bomb making material so disgusting. Not well kept. NBFC or whatever that company was. What is it called? Oop. Yeah, Berlin Snow. It doesn't say where it's coming from. It just goes, says the destination name. Sand Builders. Oh, there we go. So you see there was Ansa Brug. Now we're going about to head out into Hanover. Go blowing by that. We got five hours left on our drive. And we have six hours left before I have to rest. So I think we can sneak in there. And as long as I can park this thing in one shot, I don't have to worry about getting a ticket for rest. Not resting, you know. Because, uh, you know, you wonder, they got flying drones and cameras. They know you haven't been sleeping somehow. They have a gross invasion of privacy. Oh, I just cut that minivan off. I'm glad he slowed down. Sorry, buddy. I know I didn't signal. These Germans are probably pissed. They're wondering where I came from. Damn Scottish truck. Oh, look how fast he's going. Oh, it is the Autobahn. Look at out back there, those huge windmills. Very nice. Just peeking through the clouds and these pine trees. Yeah. Can't get enough of the scenery in this game. They did such a wonderful job. Say it over and over. That's that same guy, I think, that I cut off. That was that nasty olive green transit van. There's another BMW just plowing through. These guys like to drive fast. So I'm just barely hanging in there with my little Pequeño engine compared to my big Volvo. Alright, so four hours to go. Here's an LKW. Oh. So I don't have my porno patch turned on in this uh, profile, otherwise that LKW truck would have a semi-naked woman on it, actually. Um, I'll have to find which profiles have that. I'll go back to my big Volvo profile, because that's my racing Volvo. The Volvo that races. For no reason. I shouldn't. Because I drive like a maniac. Oh, look at these tight turns. Oh, I just got dragged down in there. Whoa. Whoa. That trailer back there is just pushing me around big time. It, it wants to go where it wants to go, and then wants to take the truck with it after a while. It's not a safe thing. Okay, wow, another 10 minutes are up. Amazing. Well, this has been an exciting drive, and it's going to be many, many parts. Uh, so let's uh, cut it off here before I hit this big turn. Well, I will hit this turn. Um, so let me make this turn, because I have to reach out and stop the recordings. And uh, I don't want to let go of the controller right now. It'll be a 
disaster. Alright, let's slow up. Okay. See you through the next cross dissolve or the next part of this video. It's coming up. One, two, three. Alright, we're back. We've gone further down the road here. We've got a little less than three hours left to go to finish this journey. Oh, that was a big wide turn all of a sudden. Nothing exciting happened uh, between the little, you know, interval there. Intermission, as I call it. We're almost uh, done with this journey. I'm hoping this 10 minute block sees us to the finish. Two hours and 45 minutes. I don't think that takes 10 minutes. My parking might take that long. Again, uh, we're also got a rest timer. I'm coming up on that pretty soon. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. I've gained over two hours. So, look, four hours and 48 seconds before I need to rest. And I'm estimated to arrive within two and a half hours. So, more than enough time. I thought that was going to be tight, but uh, no problem. Uh, it will get dark by the time we get there, that's for sure, because we're approaching 8 p.m. Uh, you can see the sunlight changing. You see it's got that nice purple, purplish color out there. Courtesy of in the improved weather mod. Um, uh, hopefully, we get some glances of the sun actually setting. That would be really nice. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't, depending on your orientation. We're heading east, so we're probably not going to see much of a sunset. We might get something nice in our mirrors from behind, but. Uh, Right in front of us, we're not going to get anything other than a beautiful change in the color of the sky. Okay, we are on some highway headed towards Berlin. Uh, I don't think I've discovered Berlin with this profile as of yet, so this is uh, another bonus we're getting. I'm not sure what achievements I've unlocked so far other than the sardine can achievement for driving onto the ferry. Uh, which is not much of an achievement because it just kind of happens. <laughs> Nothing on my part made that happen other than the fact that I have to do it to get to the continent from your uh, from the UK. Ooh, that was close. Uh, it's too bad you guys can't actually fuel the truck through the video because that that was about a mile an hour away from flipping it right there. But we're good. We are good, and we are just blowing through this traffic. This is going to be rough. I'm going racing line. Oh, yes. I'm going to go racing line here, too. I'm, I'm headed for trouble. This is not going to end well for me. But I'm doing it. It's for the excitement of the video. can't just always watch videos of a linear drive, right? We already got a lot of excitement on this journey. I hope I did catch it properly on video. I should mention, Bandicam um, uh, recommended that I use the accelerated graphics mode from my new AMD card. Man, I didn't explain anything to you guys. I upgraded my card to a 7950, uh, AMD 7950 from my previous 6950 version. It's a newer generation card. It's much faster. I don't know if it helps with the video recording, but... Uh, when I was rendering my previous video and I watched some of it, it didn't. I, it looked like it got some pretty bad artifacting here and there, even though I didn't compress the video. So this mode, it told me to choose it due to its hardware acceleration uh, capacity or capabilities, and that's what I did. But I had done a short video as a test before, and I think that mode doesn't work so well. So whatever it is, I hope all the excitement that I got myself into has been captured because otherwise oh man that there was a lot of fun going on and I really hope we got captured and the funny thing is I'm narrating this post act, you know the actual event which kind of, oh, <laughs> all right I just drove into the middle lane of a highway without even watching I'm really getting lucky in this video so you see the problem with me hoping that it got recorded because when you guys watch the video you'll have, you'll know and it won't even matter it's like a time traveler I'm some kind of weird time traveler right now and I'm just confused and I don't know what I'm talking about it's not even that late I think it's 9 30 had a couple of beers that's okay right it's just beers all right sun going down 
pretty much done for. The sky is turning blue-ish. There's those onion-shaped water tanks over there for the town. And some little hotel up there, maybe. We are looking at it. Oh, we're 24 minutes out. That's like nothing. There we go. There's the exit to Berlin. That was fast. I just ripped through this drive. These guys are going to be shocked. They're cargo is 35 hours ahead of time. I hope they know what they're doing with it or where to keep it because I'm just going to drop it off. If they don't need it for another 35 hours, well that's their problem. Here is your poisonous explosive gas and liquid. I'm out of here. And I shook it up real good for you, don't worry. That's their punishment for giving me a decrepit old tank with rust and algae and who knows whatever else going on with it. I'm surprised it didn't just explode its contents onto the highway as I was driving. Okay, 50 kilometers per hour, 30 mile an hour speed limit. You know, very common. Oh, there we go, Berlin discovered. 30 miles an hour, very common uh, speed limit for a city. New York City, I think, will be changing to a 25 mile an hour limit due to some kind of zero tolerance policy by the new mayor. I'm not sure if that extra five miles an hour is going to make much of a difference, but I guess it's that overlap. You know, when the speed limit is 30, you drive 40 to 45. Now it's 25, you'll be driving 35 to 40. So maybe that will make some kind of difference, but you know, it's up to the drivers. Uh, you know, I don't know how they're going to enforce all these rules. Maybe there's a plan to install many more cameras and things like that. Okay, this is sand builders and this is always a tough parking because you have to kind of swing it around and back it in straight. I find backing something in straight harder than cutting, you know, cutting it in because when you back something in straight it's hard to keep the truck straight. That's that's the weird part. And you see that I'm way off. So let's just take it easy. And we'll keep going. I'm lined up pretty good. Let's straighten her out. Yeah, so far so good. You gotta make little, little motions. You can't go crazy. Otherwise, you will screw up just like that. Okay. Those of these, uh, you see this tanker, how fast it makes the change. So you gotta start shifting your direction right away, otherwise it will continue. But there you go, I saved it. I think we're good. You see that? You see how it just keeps going? Yeah, sorry if my conversation has kind of stopped. My concentration <laughs> has to increase, but we're in. Pretty much in. It'll take it. I'm on the line. Oh, don't cut your head on that giant thing. It's in there. Boom. Let's take a look. Yeah, good enough. It's in there. Oh, well, it's fine, actually. It's a short trailer. It's good. Alrighty. There you go. Another cargo successfully delivered. Let's see what goodies we get. There we go. Careerist and test drive limit. So that's my one of five. Thousand kilometers. No crashes amazingly I am a master level heading towards level 21 so perfect and uh, we made it within the 10 minute mark so thank you for joining me on this crazy drive from Aberdeen to Berlin delivering some seriously noxious gases and liquids um, and uh, well it was a lot of fun so see you guys for the next drive adios